And in this day and age, most creators are just putting out so much content. So if you want to compete with them, then you also got to put out a lot of content in most cases. If you want to grow on social media in general, you got to put content out on multiple platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, wherever your audience is, if you want to cut through the noise. So I'm a big believer of the volume of content. Sure, quality matters, but as long as you have a decent quality, you want to be putting out as much content as you can so that you can cut through the noise and gain mass distribution of content. So should you try Wisecut or should you try to do it manually? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at in this video. And by the way, this entire clip that you watched was edited in Wisecut. And as you can see, I've clearly made a lot of mistakes. I've repeated a lot of lines, but the software was able to cut out all the dead spaces and mistakes that I made. I took a video that's really long and really made it concise so that you as the viewer can find it more engaging. If you are a content creator, then probably the number one thing that you struggle with is the video editing part. Let's say you just finished recording a video and now it's time to edit. The first thing that you would have to do is some jump cuts because let's face it people just don't have the attention span anymore for even the slightest pauses in the video and sometimes it might take you a few hours just to do a basic editing on your video meaning cutting out the mistakes or any dead spaces but what if you could let technology do this work for you well as a content creator as somebody who's edited videos for multiple years i recently came across a platform called wisecut Wisecut is an AI based video editing software and when I saw this I was like wow this is exactly what I was looking for and Wisecut is a video editing software that automatically cuts out the mistakes automatically cuts out any dead spaces zooms in and zooms out it also punches in and punches out the video so that you can create a more engaging video and it also lets you add some smart background music and audio ducking as well and in this day and age most creators are just putting out so much content so if you want to compete with them then you also got to put out a lot of content in most cases if you want to grow on social media in general you got to put content out on multiple platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, wherever your audience is, if you want to cut through the noise. So I'm a big believer of the volume of content. Sure, quality matters, but as long as you have a decent quality, you want to be putting out as much content as you can so that you can cut through the noise and gain mass distribution of content. So as you can see over here, it's a very easy to use software. Once you log in, all you got to do is upload all your files. So you click on add media under upload. After you're done adding all your files, then you gotta select the style of the video. Is this gonna be a video where someone is speaking? Is this gonna be a video where it doesn't have a voice, but you wanna keep the background sounds? or you don't want any sounds in the video. Once you do that, it's also gonna allow you to add music, which is essential because music often sets the tone of the video. And sometimes it can be hard to find copyright free music, especially if you don't pay for a subscription. So this has a lot of music that's built in. So if you're a content creator who, who's just starting out and doesn't wanna spend a lot of money on, on buying different songs or different subscription services, this can be a great option for you to have music that's already built in into the platform. And then all you gotta do after that is just hit create and the software is gonna do the work for you. Inside of Create, they also give you a few options, such as you can add smart background music. If you don't wanna add it, and you wanna add your music in some other editing software, you have the ability to do that. You can also auto duck the audio, meaning when you're talking, the audio levels will automatically adjust or the music levels will automatically adjust so that the music doesn't overpower your voice. And then the auto punch in feature that they have is basically, is basically a feature where it's short like you have multiple camera angles, even if you're filming with one camera. So as you can see over here, there's another video that we've edited where it was a, where it was a pretty long podcast style video that we filmed. And as you can see, we've cut out 181 seconds. That's three minutes of awkward silence that we just removed from this video. Also 71 jump cuts were created automatically and over 1500 lines of subtitling was created by the software. The subtitles that are generated can also be used for video editing, not just adding captions to your videos, which is also a great feature. Also, you can skip through the text and see which content you want to keep in the video and which content you want to remove without having to go back and forth on your timeline and listen to the clip over and over again you can easily see okay this paragraph is the last take that i did on this line so let's remove everything else and keep the line that you really want so overall should you use vice card for your video editing well so far i'm pretty impressed now sure it's not 100 percent accurate and there's, there's also an eye that an editor has that technology simply cannot replicate as of now. But this is a great way if you're a beginner or if you just wanna put out a lot of content without worrying too much about basic editing. But if you're a more advanced creator where you need to add a lot of text, B-roll, music, or if you wanna create cinematic videos, then obviously this is not gonna get the job done. But this could be a great starting point where you could get a video that's basically edited in Wisecut import it into your regular video editing software such as Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut, Filmora, whichever editing software that you want to use 
and you can save a lot of time by doing so. In fact, in this video, we saved a lot of time because instead of importing the whole video into our editing software, manually cutting out the mistakes that we made, we just got a video that we can work with. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna save at least one or two hours of your time, depending on the length of your video, in terms of having to do the basic editing. So you can focus on the other aspects of the video that will enhance the video even more. But we've also added a few more enhancements in this video using Adobe Premiere so that it looks more polished. So overall, I think Wisecut is a great tool and you should definitely give it a shot. I'm gonna leave a link to the software down below where you can check it out. I just got a lifetime deal on this on a website called appsumo.com, which you can check out. Depending on when you watch this video, this deal may or may not be live. You can also sign up for Wisecut for free, or you can try one of the paid plans. I think it's about $10 a month. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is this something that you've tried before or is this something that you wanna try? And also let me know which editing software you want me to review next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.